So hi everyone, I'm Anne Cazzellini. I'm here as the facilitator for this session and please welcome here our dear Lydia Pincher for the session What Happened Over the Past Year and What's Next? Uh, feel free to send your questions to the chat. I'll be going through them by the end of the session and also feel free to raise your hand and we can go through your questions by the end of the session as well. So Lydia, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. It's so great to see many of you again, or, and also new faces. Um, so uh, this is a session to look at a bit of what happened over the past year around Wikidata and what's coming up. Uh, it is because I'm doing it slightly uh, slanted towards developer uh, things, but I uh, hope to cover more than just that. So let's get started. Um, where are we today uh, with Wikidata? So this is Wikidata today, or at least the items on Wikidata that have a geo coordinate. And every time I look at it, I marvel at it because it's uh, it took a tremendous amount of work to get all of this data into Wikidata and, and collect it. Um, and at the same time, it also shows how many much more there is left to do. And I hope many of you help us uh, make this map light up even more in the future. So let's look at community. Today, we have about 12,200 active editors. So this is people who make at least five edits a day. Um, and on uh, of those, we have uh, 3,000 people who make at least 100 edits in 30 days. So love to, especially you, thank you for being a part of Wikidata. On Wikidata, we are at the moment uh, at a pretty mind-blowing uh, 20 million edits per month. And over the whole lifetime of Wikidata, we're closing in on 2 billion edits, not uh, too far in the future which is uh, a lot. <laughs> One of the things that uh, I thought was really, really cool this year was uh, the awarding of the uh, Wikimedia of the Year and Wikimedia Laureate to Taufik and Joan uh, from our community. And it is a great recognition, I think, uh, both for them, but also for the Wikidata uh, community as a whole inside the Wikimedia movement. Um, to show what we all do for the Wikimedia movement. So consider part of these awards also yours. In terms of content, uh, today we ha have about 106 million items and uh, on average they have about uh, 14 statements on them. And not quite the same ballpark, but also growing nice and steady are like themes, and we have about 1.18 million of them now. So we're reaching a size where you can actually build meaningful applications on top of it. And uh, next to that, we have about 11,000 uh, properties. A large part, about 8,000 are external identifiers, linking Wikidata to so much other data on the web and off the web, making Wikidata a really excellent um, hub in the linked open data web and beyond that. And when looking at reuse, uh, just two numbers uh, that you might find interesting. Uh, today, we get about 8 million Sparkle queries to the Sparkle endpoint uh, per day, which is, again, quite a lot. And um, as you know, uh, we're struggling with those 8 million. <laughs> Um, but we're uh, working towards solutions for that. More about that later. And about uh, three fourths of all Wikipedia articles today are using data from Wikidata in some shape or form. Now, uh, outside um, Wikimedia, uh, our data is used in many, many applications. Uh, here are pictures for that I thought uh, over the last year were really cool. Um, at the top, you can see uh, a website called we, uh, Who Rules, which is looking at 
boardrooms of very large organizations, companies, and is trying to show you how people are sitting on several of these uh, boards of large companies and how they are basically uh, interrelated and making decisions um, to the benefit of several of those organizations. A very nice way to bring more transparency into the whole thing. Below that, you can see Interact OA, uh, which is a, a nice research tool uh, about RNA interactions and graphing them. At the bottom, you can see OpenCheck. Um, when Twitter lost its sensible way of doing uh, verification of popular accounts, this um, is one of the initiatives trying to provide a more crowdsourced way of verifying accounts uh, on the platform with the help of Wikidata. And last but not least, um, another highlight is called Notable People, which is uh, in a, quite a lot of newspapers even, uh, which is a website that shows you this globe and you can zoom in on various areas of the world and it will show you the most famous, most popular person, most notable person from that area based on Wikidata, Wikipedia and more. <clears throat> so what happened on the um, development side over the last year? One big topic was data quality. We looked at ontology issues and we talked to reusers. We did a large survey to better understand which types of ontology issues in Wikidata they struggle with the most and which makes it hardest for them to use our data. If you want to hear more about that, and you totally should, come to my talk about it tomorrow. Uh, I will dive into the result of that survey. We've also spent quite some time on improving entity schemas, which I consider quite a vital part of improving data quality on Wikidata. If you're like, what the heck are entity schemas? I highly recommend you come to the data modeling days and we will do an intro on entity schemas and much, much more. It will be in just one month. Uh, then we also um, worked on showing constraint violations to locked out users. So now everyone can see when a statement on Wikidata violates a constraint and hopefully help fix it. We also worked on making some of them easier to understand. So people are not like, I don't know what's going on here. I just know that there's some, some issue that I don't know how to fix. So hopefully that is improved as well now. Besides that, we've made uh, improvements to the mismatch finder. Um, the mismatch finder is a tool that um, lets you review uh, differences between Wikidata and some other data stores. For example, right now we have a lot of mismatches with, between English Wikipedia's local data and Wikidata's data. And you can review, okay, um, is there an issue with Wikidata's data? Is there an issue with English Wikipedia's data? And fix, fix it accordingly. The mismatch finder now cannot just uh, do that, but it can also be used to suggest new statements uh, that so far are missing in Wikidata. And starting next week, it will also be able to work with mismatches on qualifiers, not just the main part of the statement. And uh, last but not least, we have started working towards reducing redundant content because less redundant content means less content to maintain that would otherwise be prone to data quality issues. Then, uh, in terms of lexicographical data, um, we have improved uh, things there as well. For example, we have re revamped the uh, special new lexeme page, so the page that you use to create a new lexeme. That should now be easier to understand also for people who are not super uh, versed in lexicography. We have also improved the lexeme page itself. Uh, so for example, now it has an identifier section just like item pages. So you can easily see um, links to other places where that lexeme is described as well. And we are working with a team from Indonesia to further improve lexicographical data. And currently they're working on prototyping a pretty cool micro contribution tool uh, that I hope we can see in a few months. 
And uh, if you are excited about uh, contributing to lexicographical data, but don't yet quite know where to start, then I recommend checking out the Lexeme Challenge, where every week um, you can help uh, expand lexemes in a language you speak. Then, in terms of reuse, so people building applications, visualizations, and so on with our data. The big thing was the release of the new Wikibase REST API. Um, again, come to my talk to learn more. Um, but basically, it's a new and hopefully improved way to access uh, part of our data so that it's easier for people to build applications on top of it. Then we have uh, also started, um, or no, we have figured out the next steps for scaling the query service so we uh, can address the issues it currently has. And at the same time, uh, which I think is really cool, uh, Clever and some other Sparkle endpoints are actually shaping up to, uh, to be useful um, contenders uh, to place graph um, once we need to move off of it. Uh, I'm also very excited about a new part of the team um, at Wikimedia Deutschland that is focusing on better integration between Wikidata and the other Wikimedia projects. So if you were here earlier uh, in a session about English Wikipedia and Wikidata, this is very much um, going to, to help ease some of those issues because we believe that all the Wikimedia projects should benefit more from Wikidata, of course. And also, another, in other exciting news, uh, Wiki Functions uh, went live uh, not too long ago. And uh, yeah, welcome, new sister to the Wikimedia projects. Um, and I'm very excited to see in the future how Wiki Functions uh, accesses data from Wikidata and what people are going to do with it. And uh, the final point about uh, what happened over the last year is of course the Wikibase ecosystem. Um, so this is all about not just Wikidata being a place for open data, but also fostering really a network of many, many um, Wikibases that are interconnected and where people share their own data um, or their institution's data and so on in a linked open data way. And that is highly interlinked uh, with Wikidata. Uh, the highlight there was certainly Wikibase Cloud, which went out of private beta. So if you want your own Wikibase and you do not want to install it yourself, then Wikibase Cloud is uh, what you want. Um, <clears throat> you can go there and open up your own Wikibase instance and start working with uh, structured data, just like on Wikidata. And on the Wikibase Suite side, so that is um, Wikibase, but you have to install it yourself. Uh, so for example, uh, institutions might want that because they uh, want to be in charge of their own infrastructure. There also, uh, the team that is working on it made quite some progress and um, made it easier to, to run your own Wikibase suit. And the screenshot here you can see um, are some of the uh, current Wikibases that are hosted on Wikibase Cloud. And it's uh, quite a variety from uh, R to biodiversity and domain names even. So yeah, check it out. Now that was uh, looking back at the last year. So what's, what's coming? What's next? One big topic for me is um, as being able to handle the scale and popularity that Wikidata has reached. And a big part of that is continuing to focus on data quality. And here, I think it's very important that we, um, as a development team, build out entity schemas to make them better and more usable. And then, um, as a community, we make more use of them as a very useful tool for uh, ensuring the quality of our data. And um, this is one of the outcomes of the ontology issues survey I was talking about earlier. There are a bunch of other outcomes that I think we should also address. Again, 
come to the session tomorrow to uh, see the rest of the outcomes. And um, in the month, as I said, the data modeling days. Uh, and I would love to see many of you there, not just people who are um, already deeply involved in data modeling, but also if you if you have a challenge of um, can't figure out how to model some data, come there and, and we'll figure it out together. <clears throat> and the other side of this for me is continuing to build out the Wikibase ecosystem so that Wikidata doesn't have to be the place where all the open data happens. Then um, I want to spend quite some time on enabling more people to contribute to Wikidata and to benefit from Wikidata's data. And this starts by uh, making it easier to work with our data as a reuser, who, someone who wants to build an application. And we will do this by continuing to build out the Wikibase REST API based on the feedback that people give us, um, working towards reducing the ontology issues doing more dedicated outreach to developers and as i was talking about earlier improving the integration between wikidata and the other wikimedia projects including wiki functions and apps for wikipedia of course on the social side of this um i think if, i would love for us to bring in more people who are on the fringes of our community and bring them closer to the center so what I mean by that is people who are making an edit here or there, but who haven't found their place in Wikidata yet, or quite yet. And if that sounds like you, then I highly recommend, for example, checking out Jan and Albin's uh, live editing sessions as a nice low key way of uh, learning more about how to edit Wikidata, how to work with tools around Wikidata and much more. It's fun. And um, question for the people in the chat. If you have a wiki project that people should join um, and more people should know about, post a link on the chat and um, see if people join you. <clears throat> and then um, the third thing that I think is very important for us is ensuring that the technical and social system that Wikidata is relying on, that Wikidata is built on, can support us in the long run. The most important of those is stabilizing the query service. And the next step there is trying to split out a part of the data into a separate place graph instance, meaning um, we will test how, to, how this will work with scientific articles. You will still be able to query them. Um, you will still be able to edit them in Wikidata, but they will be in two separate um, in place graphs, at least in the test, and then we will see how that how that is going to work. We will also figure out how to start improving the item UI because it is a bit dusty by now, let's say. Um, and last but not least, make sure that we get together at events uh, like this, both online and offline. And um, for some final good wipes, uh, we asked people, what is something that you would like uh, Wikidata's community to know? Um, and people uh, send lovely stuff. Uh, so for example, uh, your hard work is greatly appreciated. Keep up the good work. Wikidata builds the foundation of the information society. Thanks to Wikidata, I could do my research. It is indeed one of the most awesome open knowledge graphs. And last but not least, Thanks to all of Wikidata's editors. You're all amazing people. And I couldn't agree more. And with that, uh, I hope to see many of you on Wikidata. And if you have questions, please fire away. Thank you so much for your presentation, Lydia. Always good to start the day looking back and getting excited for the future. Uh, I see that we have no questions in the chat so far. So if you're here in the room with us and if you want to speak, please raise your hand and I'll let you know when to open up your mic or you can still leave a question here in the chat. Otherwise, we can just wrap up the session and prepare for the next one. 
I see that we already have one question here in the chat by Camilo. So he's saying, could you give more details about your work on reducing redundant content on Wikidata? Yes. So right now it is very focused on introducing the new language code for multiple languages or multilingual content um, with this specific aim, sorry, with the specific aim of making it less necessary to, for example, add the name of a person in 300 languages written exactly the same way. We're not talking about different writing system and so on, of course, but for uh, we have so many cases where we have redundant labels simply because people keep copying the same thing over and over again into different uh, languages. This happens uh, with names, this happens with um, uh, ASCII characters, um, many things. Um, and that is the next step. Um, after that, Potentially looking at automated descriptions, still have to figure out how that works together with uh, wiki functions. Um, Danny and I have some ideas. On top of all of that, there is a session by Mahir, um, I believe tomorrow, about uh, potential other ways to reduce redundant content, which I'm very much looking forward to hearing more about. We have another question here for from Chris Baum. So they're saying, well, splitting out the scientific article seems like a big step. Is this related to Excite or independent? Um, I mean, anything scientific articles on Wikidata is kind of related to Wikisite. So in that sense, yes. Um, but we have looked at the data. And again, this is a test as a next step because we will have to see how, how this how this will work. We will do this on test systems and uh, circulate them with people uh, to give feedback and so on. We're also working with the uh, Scolia people, for example, to figure out how to rewrite some of their queries and so on. Um, but the idea, or we looked at some at uh, the content on Wikidata and we looked at the content that is in Placegraph in the triple store. And uh, when you just look at items that are instance of scientific articles and take all the uh, triples that are related to them coming from those items, it is 50% of Wikidata's content, um, which is a very, very useful split if you um, have to reduce the amount of data in one, um, one place per instance. Anything else is much smaller uh, than scientific articles. Then we have here wise woman asking, how will you deal with scaling to the next two years of continued growth? Yeah. So if this testing with the blaze graph split works out, um, then that will buy us time. And um, to, for example, um, move to another backend uh, away from Blaze Graph. And one of the good things about buying us time is that right now there are several contenders out there who could potentially be a good choice for us. And they're actively being developed and they're getting better every day. Um, among them, uh, Clever and Millennium DB. Um, so if one, some of you are using those, please do give those uh, uh, organizations, people feedback so they can continue improving their products to the point where it's actually a viable contender for us. We have another question from Chris Baum. So how far is the work on switching from Blaze Graph to Killever? And uh, is that to be expected this year? Definitely not this year, because this year <laughs> only has a few weeks left. Um, and this is a huge amount of work, um, starting with um, the some of the customizations we have in, in Blazegraph, like the label service uh, that can't just be um, copied one-on-one, -on -one, right? We need to find other ways to do this. Um, so that will that will take time, which is exactly why we're trying to buy us time. 
Great. So we have a few comments here on the chat, but I don't see any questions anymore. So I think that it's a good time for us to wrap up. And thank you so much again, Lydia, for this presentation. And yeah, we'll get back here at 3 p.m. UTC in about 10 minutes, I guess, uh, for the session Structured Data and Collaborative Curation, Wiki Projects and Wikidata with Daniel Mitchin. So see you there and thank you so much. Thank you.